Welcome to Ruben Papian TV, the second episode of The Art of Thinking. In previous episode we did some exercise how to think. The second part will not be how, but when to think. Even if you know how to think, which will take a long time to become an artist, you still don't know when to think. When is quite an important issue. Time dictates us. We have to listen to the time. And in our mind, there is no time. It's absolutely the same. There are no minutes, no days, no condition. We're just thinking. Machine runs and runs and runs and runs. Time should be a priority. If it's not time to think, then you definitely should not start thinking. Because the result of that art you try to do will not be suitable to the time changes. Time will not support your thinking. Everyone who thinks, of course he wants his thought to become alive, to be realized for the good of everyone. But is it so? If we don't feel time, we don't know when our good has chance to become alive, then no matter how good you think, it will remain in a form of thinking at the end become, becomes your own problem because it remains in your mind, never realizes. When you want your thinking to be a better quality, before start thinking with all good intentions, please pay attention. Is it the time to start to think? Or maybe you have to wait. Don't be surprised if thought will come by themselves trying to suppress you, your mind. We will have an exercise how do not depend on self-generating thoughts and they are how to follow the time it's better do not think if time is not ready the painting you paint will not be appreciated if there is no time for exhibition you have to follow the time when the exhibition will be ready and there is place for your painting and then you can expose your painting, your thinking, and it will be definitely appreciated. Because right at that time, there are people that love painting. So those people will appreciate your thinking. Otherwise, you will remain as the only viewer of your own painting. Maybe you fall in love with your own painting. But who needs to love his own painting if no one else likes it? So please, respect the time. In today's exercise, we are going to feel the time. Now, even when time is right and you start to think, the process of your thinking should not be sped up. It should be exactly the time flows. Interesting thing is, uh, every one of us experienced before. Someone close to you, you try to say something some of your thoughts and he cannot get it just he cannot but it's so easy what you explain but still that person cannot get it usually we call them stupid my question is that right are they stupid or maybe you are just speeding up the time but the time for that person is not the same as yours of course when you present your thought it's ready and you expect someone in front of you to anticipate, accept it as a ready product. But it doesn't go that way. It needs time to be implemented in his mind. It's not a matter of stupidity. It's a matter of you being impatient. You have to respect the time for beginning of your thinking. Then you have to respect your inner time in a process of that thinking. Then you have to respect the time of someone in front of you who you expect to accept your thinking. Time, time, time. Respect the time before you begin to think. Sit down, close your eyes and fold your arms. Breathe in only. Relax for 30 seconds. Turn your head to the left and focus on your breathing for 15 seconds. Straighten your head 
and concentrate on your breathing for another 15 seconds. Turn your head to the right. Still concentrate on your breathing for another 15 seconds. Straighten your head and say out loud to yourself, start. Pay attention to your breathing. You will get a feeling that the thinking process just started. Follow that process in your mind for 30 seconds. After that, say out loud to yourself, stop. Bow your head. Finish this exercise with a deep inhale and exhale. Recommendation. Do this exercise every day, once in the morning, once in the evening.